Hey Scott, hey everyone else, welcome back to 4Running Shoes. In this video, I want to really test the lactate threshold testing that um, Garmin's heart rate monitors do. Uh, I've done a few videos in the past looking at lactate thresholds, so if you don't really know what lactate threshold is, I recommend watching one of my previous videos to kind of find out a bit more about that. Um, but basically, lactate threshold, um, it should be about what you can sustain for roughly an hour of exercise um, of running. So if you were to run a hard one hour long segment um, and it kind of be sustainable, you should be, that should be your lactate threshold, whatever you can sustain for an hour without your heart rate sort of peaking to the max. Like it's not supposed to be like you're about to peter out after an hour. It's more like your heart rate will settle in to your lactate threshold um, beats per minute, um, which is generally, I guess, somewhere between 80 and 90% of your max heart rate, somewhere in there, I would say. Um, it sort of should plateau around that point. And yeah, so the reason why I think I can test it pretty well is like, because obviously to figure that out is means you have to go for an hour long run, you have to push pretty hard, it's like going to be a lot of effort. Um, but actually with my training plan last week, I did a run like that, uh, a threshold run, where I was aiming to just be at my lactate threshold. Um, I kind of chose a pace that I felt like it might be based off my previous sort of 10k and um, sort of six, like 10 mile PBs, because um, that should be almost like what your lactate threshold should be um so i i did it for an hour it was actually a bit longer than an hour um i did a 16k run um uh, basically 10 mile run and i was able to sustain about four minutes and 10 seconds per kilometer so i would say and my heart rate sort of um leveled out around 183 beats per minute and to me that really sounds accurate so i think that, that's probably my lactate threshold is around for 10 minutes per kilometer. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting to go out tomorrow as I've got this sort of longer run, 13K run. Uh, and early on in that run, I'll do a lactate threshold test because as part of that run, I wanted to do some faster paces anyway. So it kind of makes sense to just, um, yeah, during that fartlek session, if you know what fartlek is, kind of like just messing around with different paces, it would be a good time to just experiment with the lactate threshold testing and see if it matches up. I would expect, if it's accurate, for it to tell me that my lactate threshold should be about 183 beats per minute um, and the pace should be around 410 per kilometer. I think it'll be wrong. <laughs> I, I reckon it, because the last time I did it, I felt like it should have been better than it recorded, but maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe it was right and I just overestimated my ability, my improvement, my fitness improvement. Um, and yeah, because basically whenever I do a lactate threshold test, it seems to always tell me that my lactate threshold is about 183, so the beats per minute isn't too bad. Um, but then the pace, it says is 430 per kilometer, generally speaking. Like I think once it was 432 and then the next time it was like 428. So I, like, I'm pretty sus that it's not super accurate. but. I'll go test it tomorrow and we will find out if it if it figures out maybe I'm more like 410 or something. Maybe it'll even encourage me and say it's faster than that. Who knows? Only time will tell. This is not the next day. It's actually three days later since I recorded that last video. Finally, I'm getting out to go do the lactate threshold. It didn't go to plan the next day because my heart rate monitor I've been using for swimming. But I think when I changed the... Um, battery the last time. I didn't set up the waterproofing well with it and so I took it swimming and then it must have got water in there and corroded and then one of the screws was corroded so I couldn't undo it and it was like a whole vibe. Anyway that has been sorted out. I've replaced the battery so my heart rate monitor is on so we should be able to detect a heart rate today. Um, got my race shoes on which is not what I would really like for this sort of run. This sort of run should be in my more casual shoes, but I think it'll be more accurate using my race shoes as far as what my lactate threshold is. The only problem is that today is somewhat warm. It's not awful. It's the evening. 
and it's like 27 degrees or so, maybe 26. Sun's still up, so I do know that that will impact my uh, run slower in the heat, but that's okay. We'll just see what it ends up spitting out at the end. So yeah, just doing what, and then I'll get into it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Man, it's hard work. Oh, they really push you harder and harder and harder without any breaks. Oh. But 183 is what I expected beats per minute. Apparently you have to wait until you get home to review it to see if it's um, what the pace is that they say it is. So I'll let you know when I get back. But about a 5k cooldown, 6k actually. Yeah. All right, so I'm just back home for a brief pit stop. I'm going to end my run and um, start a new one in new shoes. Well, not new shoes, but just more recovery based shoes, as I mentioned. I didn't want to run in my race shoes for too long. My calves need a break a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I think when I stop my activity, though, it'll probably. Um, tell me my lactate threshold, so I want to get that on camera. Uh, yep, so I have to save it. Okay, save. Did that work? Save. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is somewhat what I expected. 404 for my lactate threshold. That's a huge improvement. That's really good, if that's accurate. Um, as I was guessing, I thought it was more 410. But to be honest, yeah, 404 might actually be pretty accurate. So that's really encouraging, thinking about half marathons. Um, yeah, that's getting really close to four minute pace. So really happy with that. Um, and yeah, it means I'm going in the right direction. So that's really good. And I'm sweating heaps because it's been warm, but I'm looking forward to a nice cool down. Um, I'm gonna have some water and yeah. Just finish off the last sort of six and a bit Ks or five and a bit Ks now. But yeah, so I guess maybe it is somewhat accurate at the lactate threshold test. I thought it wouldn't be accurate, but it proved me wrong. It was a lot closer than I thought. And maybe it's actually more accurate than my guess. So that's encouraging. 404 is better than I thought. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for joining me on this test. Um, and yeah, I guess I, I thought it might be a negative review of Garmin's product. <laughs> But it ended up being kind of positive, so yeah, well, um, guess I'll keep using it and recommending it to people. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next video, and make sure you check out Scott's video on Tuesday. Yeah, we're both heading in the right direction with our training, so exciting. Anyway, I'll catch you guys. Bye.